this tub. So we've got Marla Rowing Club on the left hand side of the Berkshire station and Newport Aquatic Centre on the right on the USA. Prince Philip Challenge Trophy. Away they go. Marla Rowing Club just down the way from here. The Hearths is many times have got the advantage of being so local they can drill this all year round at this moment. Newport Aquatic Centre from the USA to the right. It's the model Ryan Club. It's, it's the biggest entry ever for Henry Royal Regatta. They've got eight crews racing this week. Yeah, they've got 40 later, Prince Philip. Diamond Jubilee quad later on as well, so big entry from Marlow. Well done to them. Mm -hmm. Club in good shape. And here we've got a picture of Marlow here running along. Pete Chambers here, one of the ex-international British lightweight rowers, has been rowing and coaching over there and really starting to develop a good program over there, both on the boys and the girls' side. And here we've got about half, two-thirds of a length from the from Newport Aquatic Centre as they start to move away. Very long with them, and they're already quite low in the rate in the US crew, but really getting some boat speed for it. Yeah, they're highly rated. This Newport Aquatic Centre boat, they've had some success already this season. Um, obviously having made the long trip over to be at Henley, I think they've got a chance and looking at the early stage of this race. That's the boat that we're watching. The fox is well wrapped up. It certainly is. You can just see there when the boat is on the water how long they're spending pulling the handle and really spending time just accelerating the boat and that's really giving them the payoff as they're racing along here. And they've won a lot, they've come from, they've got a lot of medals, first, second, third places at some places like the Southwestern Regionals. Long Beach Invitational, San Diego Crew Classic. So they're used to winning races. And here they're using that confidence to just, just about work clear here of Marlow Rowing Club. This is junior women's eight, so all the competitors have to be under 18 before last September the 1st. And it's clubs and schools mixed in together. Yeah. So it really is open to everybody who's of school age. New for 2022, this event. And here are Marlow going well and that's a slight contrast here Marla really aggressive again with her handle really accelerating the boat with her bodies but when, you, when we look across again at um, Newport you can see Newport just the, the blades are in the water for a little bit longer and it's giving the boat just a bit more impulse every stroke and that's why they're sliding away so the conditions seem to have settled there that looks a bit nicer down there doesn't it yeah just perhaps just briefly but Marla on the right-hand side of the picture, you can see Temple Island in the background and the Hamilton Valley. They're trying to stay in touch with Newport's Quest and they're doing a good job of that and making this a race. Yeah, this is a really interesting part of the course because now the course start, is very close to the bank when the Berkshire start in the first six, seven hundred metres. And now as you come past Forty Court, the, the, court, the river moves away to the left and the course moves away across the right-hand side of the river. So you sort of move away from the crowds, it's a quiet space, it's much more, you don't hear the noise very much, it feels like you're very much out on your own. You can see how close they are to the right hand side of the river now, having started on the left hand side of the river at the beginning. Our conditions seem to have got better, it's still lovely bright skies, nice sunshine. The wind does seem to have dropped a little bit, which is great news, it's awful news actually coming just now that our uh, co-commentator, Camilla Hadden Horrocks, new hat flew off when she was on the umpire's launch and has got very wet. That's terribly sad that, that, here. That, that is awful. Um, but, I, have to, uh, I have to hold my hold on to my hat later on. So thoughts of you, Camilla. We'll be on commentary duty a bit later on. But that's an indication of just how windy it's been. You know, the flags on the left and also the flags above the church right at the end. The wind is still persisting, but they're coming through a bit of a flat patch here, but there's some dark patches ahead which are going to give them some trouble. So the lead extending for Newport Aquatic Centre gives you such a clear idea, that picture of the extent of the lead. So here the, you see Newport, the, the winners of the San Diego Crew Classic on the West Coast this year, really showing their class here. Really rowing very well actually, just pushing the boat, taking their time to accelerate the boat and it's given them a lot of good boat speed. Charlotte Milan in the cock seat for Marlow Rowing Club will be urging her boat on Lauren Kennedy in the stroke seat. 
trying to communicate with all of that Marlow boat. There we can see so much work to do. And Charlotte Milan in the cockpit certainly won't have given up, but just hoping something goes drastically wrong in the opposition boat. Yeah, the bow four of the Marlow Club have been to Henley before in the stern four, including the cockpit. This is their very first time racing at the regatta. And the Newport School, this is all their first time coming to the regatta, which is less surprising, I suppose, having come all the way from the US. Well, it's very early in the morning at Newport Aquatic Centre over the big pond. So morning to anybody who's uh, stayed up or got up to watch this race unfold over in the States. Hope you're enjoying the coverage and hope you're enjoying this performance because it's pretty much what you'll have in mind, won't you, when you're flying over from the States to take part in Henry Royal Regatta. You think on the Thursday, this is what you want. Yeah, totally, exactly right. And just as we look on the right-hand side of the course here, there's a bit of a gap in the course. There's no boom, so that's where the crews can cross over as they're padding down to the start. But here we're coming into the enclosure now. Um, Newport really efficiently rowing down the last 400 metres of the race. And it'll make a difference to later on in the week as well. The fact that they don't have to strain too much to see off Marlow Rowing Club. It will perhaps give them a little bit of an advantage in the next round tomorrow, Saturday. Well, for sure, event, the opposition has had to race it all the way to the line. There will be some advantage. But these, these athletes, they train quite hard and they train to know so they can recover and race again and again. Um, even though they're young and their training age is low, they're still pretty fit. But training, that's one thing. And then having a the discipline to see it through because it is an extraordinary week here. If you've not been a part of Henry Royal Regatta and been here all week, you, it's a unique rhythm to the week, isn't there? And the discipline required to go from one day to the next to the next, all the way from Tuesday through until Sunday. Yeah, and also there's a lot of distractions you know, at the regatta, walking through town to get back to wherever you're staying. It's not like normal regattas where it's usually soulless and you just race and sort that yourself out. Here, the kids need to make sure they finish the race, put the boat away, maybe say hello to their parents for five or ten minutes and then go away. Otherwise, it's exhausting being around this place if you're racing. Soulless. Apologies to people who are watching this in New Zealand. I've never found New Zealand. No, soulless. New Zealand's one of the better ones. That's a good trip, apparently. <laughs> There are others that have that, uh, but nothing like Henley, that's true. Henley is uh, out on its own. So Newport Aquatic Centre from the USA, well done to them. Really fine performance. Marlow Rowing Club, who kept in touch for the first half of the race, found it tough going, though. From just down the way, Marlow in the Prince Philip Challenge Trophy will head home. And Newport Aquatic Centre have got to keep the discipline, stay here, try and get into the weekend performance and the Prince Philip Challenge Trophy they're going to progress at the expense of Marlow Rowing Club who come over the finish line now big win for the Americans